Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of M Crater Lore. So today what we're going to be doing is copying over our script for the uh, tool, uh, the basic tool table, and then we're going to be implementing another version of that for the, um, what do you call it, like a stone table where we can craft up all the different types of stone blocks and stuff like that. So if you guys want a uh, video, well, a future video, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm going to be working on it anytime soon, but um, if you want a workspace at least for the time being, I can easily put something together in a separate workspace from the M Creator lore so it's a little bit easier to see how all the parts and stuff uh, match up and I can base it off of what I've done in this particular video. Uh, though there's going to be some changes probably in the next video um, or the next few videos for what I've been working on. So basically what I've been doing is um, going ahead and uh, getting the actual procedures copied over. That procedure that you just saw before was for basically opening up the different types of uh, workstations. There's one with the recipe helper and then there's one without the recipe helper. Uh, this is based on a player variable. We actually uh, generalized the variable in today's video as well. So I needed to copy over all the procedures, give them different names for each workstation. So I wanted to make sure that they were separate. So the recipes didn't um, overlap with each other and um, it was just a little bit more easier to manage all the recipes and stuff that we're going to have. Um, a lot of these have to be created because they're all parts of components of the GUIs and updates and stuff like that. So I needed to go ahead and make sure all the names were um, similar. Uh, just basically just a few things changed in the name to reflect the uh, stone table, uh, the basic stones table rather than the basic tool table. And that way it's just easier to link up everything later on. So uh, once I did that, I moved it over into its own folder and then I could start working on getting the uh, settings all set, set up. So I needed uh, to copy over the procedures for these ones. Uh, they're for opening the, uh, I think they had to do with the GUI if I remember correctly. So I need to put them in a folder uh, for that part. And then I started working on the new variables. So I needed one for the, like I was go going to have them separate for each workstation, but the more than I thought about it, maybe having it as a general linked variable would probably be better. So. Uh, what we will end up doing later on is adjusting this variable um, so the script reflects all the crafting stations with the recipe helper and then that way it will just be easier for people to link up their things and they don't need to worry about ones being disabled and stuff that could be a little bit annoying for some people when they're not familiar with the recipes and stuff like that so uh, they might want to have it all enabled rather than the just single workstation workstations and stuff like that so basically what I've been doing is just linking up the procedures now with the ones that we created uh, the duplicates and making sure that the same files are located in these ones so I need to make sure that they were the right files because there's a lot that were similar and stuff like that so once I did that I could start focusing on the recipe and I was just updating the tag name for this uh, this was basically the tag name for what we used in the recipe. And as you can see below, that's the recipe that we used in that previous workspace. Uh, we're gonna be basically redoing all this and making it so it's um, based on vanilla recipes or something similar in some regard to for crafting and stuff like that. So that's basically what it worked on there. I started working with a single button kind of recipe. I was going to use this for the cobblestone, but I decided not to uh, because uh, the cobblestone um, is one of those kind of blocks that you might want more of the material of. So I created a 4x4 crafting recipe for that one instead. And that way they can craft up uh, 4 marble from, or 4 cobblestone marble or whatever recipe from 
and get the same amount back so it's a little bit easier and then the polished version is a recipe of nine so I need to add all the different types of um, marble materials as well so I could um, set up all the recipes like that and I didn't even get to basalt or shale um, because it was taking a long time to actually add all the recipes and stuff like that but um, the other procedure that I have here is for the recipe helper. It allows me to display the recipes based on pages and I needed to basically link up what those um, recipes would look like in the recipe helper so people could easily find the recipes and stuff like that. So this took a while because I was going to do it for each recipe but then I realized that I could probably just get away with uh, doing a tag and displaying it under one recipe so uh, that would allow me to because a lot of it is going to be modular right so we're going to have ones for stairs we're going to have ones for slabs we're going to have ones for buttons in some cases and then there's going to be some for uh, walls and uh, pressure plates so it's pretty straight across the board for all of the different types of um blocks that we can craft up so I wasn't going to worry about it too much. Uh, some of the other procedures that I needed to do was go ahead and um, get a system set up for the page numbers and because I'm working with one page at the moment um, a lot of these procedures didn't need to be called so I needed to add the procedure that I did make for the recipe and then this will basically be called in here and then I have the um, procedure that needed to be linked up for the page as well. So I needed to go ahead and link up the uh, page down script for the button. And this will basically decrease the page number um, and run the script, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember what this one's for. I think it's the page. But um, there's one for increasing the page and decreasing the page number, which will vary depending on what item is displayed. So when that's all set up, I needed to give it a display name for the top there. There is an issue with it later on. I will cover that in just a second. But um, basically, there is a chance that the name will be too long. And we're going to need to make uh, scrolling, sc scrolling text uh, in the future for basically um, fixing that issue. Because there's only so much limited space for text at the top of the recipe helper. So we're going to need to kind of make it so the text is going to be kind of scrolling based on how much text there is there. So if it's within a certain range, it doesn't need to, but there's other things that will need to be there. So um, outside of that, that's basically for a future project for the recipe helper. And we'll probably uh, sync that up with the um, other recipe tables as well. So it's all in one kind of thing. But... Um, outside of that, I needed to set up the GUI parts and make sure all the components were linked up as well. So I was using quite a bit of procedures and uh, parts to make all these, um, this recipe helper and the uh, crafting system. So there was a lot of things going on here. So I needed to make sure that all the different components were linked up to the proper procedures and uh, for the ones that were... Um, for slots and stuff, I need to make sure that all that was linked up to the buttons for the uh, switching the recipe helper on and off. I needed to go ahead and make sure that was linked up and then the buttons and then the output slot and the name as well, I think, needed to be updated as well as the global procedure for when it was open. And I was just having some troubles figuring out which procedure I needed to link up. So I was making sure that... I had the right one and once I did that I started making sure the block settings were set up properly as well and just linking up the procedures for the or the right click opening the GUI based on the block now that was done through a global procedure when the player right clicks on a block so first test and uh, there were some things that I needed to work on so basically opening this up uh, we had the recipe helper but uh, some of the other problems that I noticed was the GUI name was over there and there was a few other issues. I couldn't remember what one was actually the issue, but um, yeah, it was, I basically just tested it 
uh, with some marble and just to make sure everything was working. And as you can see, at this point, I had uh, the cobblestone in place, so I didn't want to um, basically use that particular recipe later on, but I ended up with going with a 4x4 four four and then making it so it would uh, work for any particular slot uh, using and or, pardon me, or statements and just calling a recipe multiple times based on the different positions in the recipe. So uh, same, th same idea of what I did with the buttons, but... Um, just buttons or single blocks because that's how you craft buttons in vanilla Minecraft. So I thought I would keep the recipe similar and just make it so the the crafting tables were a little bit um, different. So once I got that part done, I needed to make sure that um, everything worked. So just testing the other slots and stuff. So there was a few things that I needed to fix. And um, one of the other things that I want to make sure that is later on, which I haven't fixed, is making sure the right click doesn't have the block being placed so we will need to uh, address that issue later on but that can be cancelled I'm pretty sure when we right click on the block uh, to open up the GUI but we'll have to take a look at that and see if that's the case or not so a few things that I needed working on was making sure the page was only going to the maximum page we'll probably update this later on because there's a bunch of stuff uh, once I tested that out, I got a whole bunch of more recipes in. That took a while to do, actually a couple hours uh, to get all the recipes in, but I wanted to make sure that the recipes were set up properly and uh, testing the different recipes for the walls and all the other things. Now, they're what you expect. They can be in any position in the crafting table, like uh, as long as it fa follows the same uh, shape so basically one single button would be that one you can put a single button in any other slot and stuff like that and it would still work uh, same with uh, the squares like this for the double uh, you can put it in the bottom corner or on the bottom right or whatever and some of them like this one would only work uh, for the uh, one recipe but in most cases this is how it would be crafted up yeah I really need to work on that um, procedure for right clicking on the block for sure but all right so once I did that I just wanted to make sure that the recipe name was updating properly and testing the stairs as well so stairs are pretty simple to set up and then the other thing that I wanted to do was just make sure that the um, setting up the uh, timer for the recipe part so when we go to the mossy cobblestone it will update the um, mossy cobblestone though it was kind of updating randomly so there wasn't any particular time between the two stages so I needed to fix that up uh, later on but um, overall I did create a lot of the um, fixes and I got a whole bunch of stuff working uh, later on I ended up uh, synchronizing and adding some script to the code so it will actually uh, always be a different block for the random updating so as you can see with the stairs I streamlined the procedure so it will use tags instead and that way I don't need to make as many recipe pages for all the different components and that will make it easier later on for the um, uh, other blocks that I end up adding for recipes as well so um, there's a lot of script that went into that but we still need a uh, scrolling script as you can see some of the names are not exactly lining up with all the GUI, so we will need to go ahead and make a uh, scrolling script for that. I do have code, I think. I just need to synchronize it and import it. But outside of that, that's all the stuff I have for today. I did uh, use Moss in the procedure, so we can definitely find that anywhere in the world, pretty much. And we'll uh, start making recipes and stuff for that. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.